my lovelies, I hope you're all well. I am so excited for today. There are lots of new products coming to the UK. If you're in the US, you've already seen these, you've already had them, you might have had a play. If not, stay and watch this video as well. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like the video. And of course, if you've got any questions, please do leave them in the comments. I always try and get back to everyone. So, very exciting. In the description, you will find all the links to these products that I'm going to show you, but they are today available in the UK. Cosmetic bag blanks, they're lovely, they really are. So you get three of these in a pack. You get one which is 9.6 by 75 inches, and then you get two which are nine inches by 6.1 inches. We've then got the pillow blank. So they call them pillow shams, but they are a cushion cover is what they are over here so you've got this one which is 18 by 18 inches and this is the white version again this is a new infusible ink blank and then we've got the other cushion cover which again is 18 by 18 inches but it's cream it's they are different in their texture so the white one completely different texture to the cream one. I really like the cream one. I love the texture. It's almost got a linen texture, which I really like. And we've got the wine bag as well. So this is 5.75 inches by 13 inches. Again, it's that kind of linen um, effect feel that it's got going on. And this is a cream color. So those are our new blanks. We've got the two different cushion covers, the beverage bag, and the makeup bags as well. That's not all though. We are also getting the 30 pack of infusible ink pens. These are lovely. I've got both the pens and the markers. I got them in the States last year. They are beautiful to work with and they're, they're just lovely. Now currently we're only getting the pens. With the pens, I tend to write and draw with them and then I use the markers to colour in. So for most projects, unless you want to colour in with infusible ink, the pens are absolutely perfect. I think the best way to let them know that we would like the markers is to politely just put, you know, absolutely love these pens, it would be great to have the marker set as well. They do listen, Cricut do listen to us, so it might be worth it but I absolutely love the colour selection in here. So you can see the colour selection there and there's a nice variant of different colours and shades. It's definitely a pack worth getting if you are going to use Infusible Ink a lot. I feel like we're not using it as much over here as we should be because it's a fantastic product. If you're ever worried or you don't know what you're doing or you think you're going to ruin something, you can always come and join our group UK Cricut Creators. It's it's You don't have to be in the UK to join it, you can be anywhere in the world. And we also do free monthly events as well. So we do about six events a month and we try and do those as a varied selection. And one of the things we do most months is we will do an infusible ink uh, event. We let you know what you need and then we all create together. They're just fun, they're completely free. And if you're ever worried about using a product, especially something like Infusible Ink, come along, join us, and don't worry, we'll get you through it. These pens are definitely worth having though. We're also getting some new Infusible Ink sheets as well. So I don't have all of them. These are ones that I brought back from the States with me, but we're getting a good variation. We've got two packs coming. We've got four packs coming. We've also got lots of pattern packs and plain color packs as well. So these are just some of them. So we've got Galactic Star here, which is absolutely stunning. There's also Midnight Sky. Pink Lemonade, which doesn't look like it's anything special in the box, but trust me, this is worth having. It is absolutely beautiful, as are all the Galaxy ones. We've also got Galaxy. This is Distressed Berry, and there are some other Distressed packs coming as well. And then this is Patina, which I absolutely love. It's a stunning pack. They're all absolutely stunning. And as I say, there are more coming so they are available from today very exciting 
The links are in the description. We're gonna go make something really quick, just nice, quick and easy. I think we'll probably use one of the um, Star Knight packs, probably Galactic Stars, but we might use one of the others and we'll make something quick. But as I say, the links are in the description, so definitely worth going and having a look today. They're gonna go quick, so you might wanna go and order first and then come back and watch me make something. I'll link to both the UK links and the American links as well. Those of you that are in the States, I do have a 10% off code for Cricut. Those of you in the UK, we currently don't have a dedicated Cricut website. It is in the works. It is coming in 2021. Very excited. And when that's up and running, we will have a discount code for it. So I'm in design space and I've just written this very quickly. So this is the font De Clara and I will find it and link to it. And this is Dom Casual Standard Regular, which is a design space. So with this one, I just need to bring those letters closer. So we can try letter space first, but we're still gonna be out. So what we're gonna do is go to advanced, ungroup to letters. I'm just gonna move that R slightly and then bring that E over. And then I'm just gonna move that whole word so it's a little bit closer to the U. I can then weld that line together. And of course I need to weld because I've ungrouped and then I've overlapped those letters. So if I simply attach, it's gonna actually cut out where they overlap. Whereas if I weld it, they become one continuous piece. And then all I'm going to do is highlight both lines, a line and center horizontally. So I'm just using this box to size it up as I want it. That's exactly as I want it and I have attached them together. We can then go to make it. Because we're using infusible ink sheets and actually even with pens, you still need to mirror. So make sure when using infusible ink that you are turning that mirror on. I'm gonna select my maker. Now the sheets will work in any of the machines. So all the explores, the makers, and of course the joy. When it comes to the pens, there are separate pens for explores and makers, and then there are separate pens for the joy. So the 30 pack is for all explore models, including airs and the maker. They will not fit in the joy. I'm just going to search my materials and I'm going to type in inth, like so and then infusible ink transfer sheet will come straight up. So I'm gonna use the Galactic Stars four pack sheet, plastic wrapping. Keep that if you can, because ideally you want to put your sheets back in this plastic and then back in the box. In here, you'll also find a silica gel pack. Again, you want to keep that and put that back in with your sheets in the box, it will stop the uh, moisture in the air getting to the transfer sheets and you get a practice piece of cloth as well. You get your four sheets and then you get four sheets of butcher paper as well. So I just want to show you each of these sheets. Look at that. We've then got this one. I think this is the one we're going to use. This one and this one as well. Actually, we might use this one. Oh, I don't know, it's so hard. So in the UK, we don't have butcher paper. You'll always get the right amount of butcher paper for the right amount of sheets in the sheet boxes. But if you're using pens, you will need a alternative to butcher paper. So I use these from Lakeland. They're non-stick baking parchment squares, but they come pre-cut as well and in different sizes. So they're just nice and handy. I always recommend trimming down your sheet rather than putting the whole thing on the mat. The reason why is this is quite delicate and sometimes when it's coming off the mat you can actually crinkle it and that will then affect future cuts. So you're best off cutting it down first. And of course you want to use your brayer to secure it in place. I personally wouldn't use a scraper, I'd either use the brayer or a non-stick roller.
at the Cricut Heat Guide. So we're at the Cricut Heat Reference site. This is fantastic. It is invaluable to you. So the first thing you're going to do is choose your Easy Press. So I'm choosing this one, Easy Press 2. I am using Infusible Ink Sheets. And it is going on a cosmetic bag. And then I can click apply. And it's going to give me all the information I need. So as well as pressure, temperature, time, it's a warm peel. It's going to tell me how I put it all together. And it's going to give me lots of written instructions as well. So please, please make sure that when you are using pretty much all your iron on and your infusible ink that you come onto the reference guide because it is your best friend. You'll see there's a warning here. It says to use in a well ventilated area. Vapors from the heating process may be irritating to sensitive individuals, which is true. I personally find the smell really obnoxious especially if with the coasters I'm doing it the cricket way those of you that have seen me do lives with infusible ink you'll know that I don't do the coasters the way that cricket do them I cannot stand the smell of paper burning and the times on the coasters is quite a lot it's like two minutes it's over two minutes so I do it a different way However, this is a 60 second press, which is a minute. So I am going to follow the instructions on this because it's not going to be too bad. I am very sensitive to smell though. So anything over a minute, I have to change the way that I do it. That's just my personal way though. As it says, use in a well ventilated area. And if you've got sensitive skin, obviously be careful about what you're doing and, and how you're doing it. So just be aware that there are some instances where using infusible ink is not going to be the best for you but that's an individual choice to make and only you know how sensitive you are. So first things first I'm going to put my easy press mat down. I've then got my cosmetic bag and in that I'm just going to put some card. That's just to prevent the ink seeping through. I'm then going to put my infusible ink down onto my item. Now, a couple of things. Your easy press needs to be larger than your design. The reason being is you can only heat this once. I see lots of people layering it. I layer it, but I layer it so that I can press in one go. But I see lots of people going in with multiple presses. But no one actually says how that affects the ink. The actual guidance from Cricut is that it should only be heated once and that's all I've ever done and I've never had any issues. I don't know about people that go in several times because I've not tried it but the one thing they never come back and say is how long it lasted. If you follow the Cricut instructions this is forever because it's not sitting on your blank it's seeping into your blank. You also need to make sure that your butcher paper is going to cover your blank because at no point do you want your plate of your easy press coming into contact with any of the blanks because a lot of them are polyester or they've got a special coating you'll end up ruining your easy press and you'll ruin the blank as well so make sure your easy press is larger than the design so you get a nice even press but that your butcher paper is larger than your blank. Your butcher paper is a one-time use so what I normally do is actually cut it down so that I'm not going to waste the rest of it. I'm going to put it on there today as a whole but I will cut round the area my easy press has been on. Do not reuse it because it does singe and if you reuse it that yellow colour will transfer onto your other items. So I'm just going to come in with my easy press and place it straight down and then I'm going to start my timer. Now I'm going to do a nice even pressure but I'm not putting huge amounts of pressure on it. This is a warm peel but any time you're working with infusible ink you need to be very careful and ideally you want to leave it to cool down. 
especially if you're using the coasters they get extremely extremely hot so please do wait for it to cool completely down with the coasters that is okay to touch see we've got the color peeking through so very excited oh wow i love it when you just peel it back So just to show you, that's the original colour of it. And when you add the heat, that's when infusible ink really comes to life. You'll see we've also drained a lot of the colour from the sheet. There's still remnants of it because they're quite dark colours. So you won't always end up with white. You will still be able to see some of the colours and the pattern, especially if they're nice and bright. But you should have removed most of it. And you can see where it singed that paper. And you can also see where it's yellowed slightly on the butcher paper. So again, make sure you don't reuse this. But there we go. There is our makeup bag. I love these new blanks. I love the pens. I love the new sheets. The new sheets are just amazing. They really are. So I'm super, super excited. I can't wait to see what you all make. Make sure, as I say, that you subscribe and you hit that like button. Also hit the notification bell. And if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll see you all again soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.